Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? It's around 11.30. Just finished walking Sam. Uh, I, I did all my work this morning, putting up my vlog. Uh, I made another Uncut and Raw. Uploaded that. Both my vlog and my Uncut and Raw uploaded no problem in HD. So I don't know what happened yesterday with uh, the 7-Eleven hot dog. I did it exactly the same way as I do every every one of my videos. I was just a little impatient trying to get the video out to you. And uh, you know, I uploaded it. I put all the, the tags in, the description, put the end stuff on and uh, the polls and things like that. <clears throat> And then I upload it. I mean, then I'm letting it go live. Usually by that time it flips over to HD, but for some stupid reason to yesterday, it didn't. So I've contacted YouTube and they're looking into it for me. So hopefully YouTube can resolve it on their end because again, I uploaded it in HD, why it never processed all the different, um, What's it called? Qualities that it's supposed to do, like 240 all the way up to whatever you uploaded it to. So 1080 by 1920. Anyway, so that was my issue yesterday. But again, I uploaded two more videos today. No problem. Went right to HD. Anyway, today, like I said, it was around 1130. My Fitbit was at about 750 to 800 steps before I started doing this walk. But I wanna do, see how many steps I can do in about 30 minutes to uh, 45 minutes. But I gotta start walking for at least an hour every day, up to two hours, maybe an hour in the morning, hour at night, just to get myself into walking shape for when we go down to West Virginia. Plus losing a little bit of weight. <laughs> Some of you guys don't understand that I'm trying to lose weight, but I also have this really weird job where I have to go and review fast food. And the reason I do fast food, for those of you who don't know, it's easy, it's inexpensive, I can eat it in my car. And that was the whole premise of me doing that right from the beginning, is I don't have to go in to a restaurant, ask permission, to videotape or start doing a review in a restaurant and then getting kicked out halfway because you're videotaping in their restaurant. So, and if you're to drive home, me living so far away from both towns, then the food's cold when you get home. So my only situation I can do is eat it in my car. And that's, and of course, getting f uh, fast food over anything else. And the other thing too is, you pay attention to your views, your likes, and when all your views and likes are on McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, all those top name restaurants, you keep doing them. And when you do like a mom and pop shop in Bradford, Ontario, Canada, you don't get as many views because people aren't researching that specific restaurant. The only video I've done in the past uh, that was basically a restaurant that only exists in Ontario is Fat Basta Burrito and Lakeside Burgers. Both of those had, first of all, Fat Basta Burrito, the name Fat Basta Burrito. It's, it gets a lot of views because of the name of the restaurant. So that's why those videos get a lot of views. But if I was to do some burger shop in, in Bradford or Barrie, nobody's going to watch it as much. It's, the views will go down unless it's a crazy item on the menu. So, case in point is Lakeview Burgers. If I had put up a Lakeview Burger video, just a regular burger video, it wouldn't have got as many views. But we did the deep fried bacon wrapped poutine, views went through the roof. So. On my channel, it's either you uh, do a, a fast food chain, one of the biggest ones you can do, or you do some, and plus new things, 
and also the uh, strange items like bacon wrap poutine. Um, there's a few a few things on my channel, uh, fat bastard burrito, you know. So those are the, and that's what makes me my money. And you don't want to go like people ask me to go to Kitchener and do, you know, some some restaurant. There's only one restaurant, and unless it's a crazy named item, people aren't going to watch it. They'll see the notification on their emails. They're like, burger, whatever. But if it's some really strange, crazy name, plus it's got a great thumbnail of this big, juicy whatever, then it will get a lot of views. I just noticed these people have things on their dock that are spinning because of the wind. And that is, uh, I guess, to help keep the ducks and geese off their dock and seagulls because there's nothing worse than seagull duck and goose poop all over your deck so that's how that's their method which is really interesting some people put the uh, fake owl but the birds have become accustomed to the fake owl thing so that's a good idea you just have to not walk on the dock when you've been drinking you get wiped out all right so let's see how many more steps we can do As you can see, I finished my walk quite a while ago. I think I managed to pull off about 3,000 steps in about a half an hour. So I'll just drop in Ben here off at work. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. Yeah. Ready to go to work. It's hot in this car. Now that I've turned off the air conditioning. We were talking about purchasing. So you guys can hear us. We were talking about purchasing possibly a car in the near future for Ben. Hopefully. Just so cause... we have to work out his financial situation, go to talk to the bank, see if they will give oh. you. Oh, you know what? I'll just pop over there right now and ask them. You know how old you have to be to have a loan yeah and oh, uh, then true, we'll have to man. phone the insurance company and find out how much it would cost for you to pay insurance for let's say this car let's say this car just because well, thank you just to start much. off all right, all right. have we'll a good day see at work you later ciao ow see ya see ya bud okay. all right let's go to the bank and just find out how, how old you have to be i think it's 18 you have to be and then i'd have to co-sign because he's a, still a student if he was working full time, let's say he he wasn't going to school this year and he just wanted to work, then he'd be considered a full time employee, and the bank might actually give him a loan. But uh, if they're thinking that he's going to go to college and stop working while he's in college, then they might not give him a loan. So let's go check it out. Just finished talking with the bank. I don't think she was a bank manager. I think she was just loans officer or whatever. So she says, "Yeah, you have to be 18." And because he's uh, so close to being turning 18 that I'd have to co-sign, which I totally was under the impression that I was going to have to do. And then he will have to uh, yeah, co-sign it. And then she said one, one good thing to do is, is to basically, you know, the, the, I would get the loan and then Ben would just have to pay me back uh, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, whatever and until he pays it off and she said that's she goes if you do a, if he gets the loan and he, we both co or i co-sign it and he reneges on one of the payments it'll hurt my credit as well as her, his credit really badly so if you're 18 and you get a loan and you forget to pay or you lose your job or whatever uh it's it's devastating she, they, she said no bank will touch you once once they realize that you will uh you renege on your payments. So I was just looking over there, Extreme PETA. I was thinking of doing a um, uh, Pizza Hut review today, but a young lady asked if she could, uh, or she was she was in the hospital and she really enjoyed watching our videos. And uh, so she, she wants me to go to Papa John's and I don't want to drive all the way up to Papa John's because the only one that I know of is in Barrie. So I don't want to have to go up there to do, to do it today. So I'm gonna probably do that on Thursday or Friday, go up there, shoot it, edit it, put it out for Friday's video. And that's to, uh, as a request for that young lady. But uh, I was thinking of what to do tomorrow and I was gonna do Pizza Hut, but I don't want to do two pizzas, in, two pizzas in a row. So, and a lot of people have asked me to go to the Extreme Pita. So let's do it.
Well, got my pita. I went with the Chipotle chicken. And there are three people ahead of me, four people ahead of me. And uh, because the way Extreme Pita makes their food, they actually kind of reheat everything on a, on a grill. And uh, it takes time. So I think I was in there for 20 minutes <laughs> waiting for them. Just as I walk in there finishing one, and then, uh, then there were three students ahead of me and they all ordered something different. So it took about 20 minutes to get mine out. Jeez. That's what you get when you have fresh food. All right, let's do this review and then get home. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ken Domic back in the house. Today, we're gonna be reviewing Extreme Pita. A lot of you guys wanted me to do the Extreme Pita from I can remember many years ago, like requests. I just never have got around to doing it. Just dropped Ben off here at work. And today, we are finally gonna do Extreme Pita, because it's just right there. So I thought it would be a good time to do it. Of course, somebody pulls right up beside me. I thought I'd parked just far enough away that there'd be nobody around. I think I'm gonna start again. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Vlog people, just all finished up. And uh, I guess you'll, this is gonna be Wednesday's video, so you'll probably see this before Wednesday's video. But the pita itself had a big stale area on the actual pita. So they got a, uh, a certain, certain type of rating. You'll have to find out when you watch that video. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you if you enjoy these little behind the scenes things. Uh, I don't want to show you too much. I like to show you like little maybe bits and pieces of the video that I shot, but I ultimately want to you know let, make you go over to KBD Productions TV and watch the whole video. So let me know in the comments below if that's what you like or don't like. So right now I'm going to head home. Uh, load this up on the computer, probably edit it all, and uh, then I'll be set to go for, for Wednesday.